Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hair Loss Show. In today's episode we're going to talk about thyroid and its effect on hair loss. So stick around. Welcome to the Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram J. Aprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hey everyone, welcome back to the show. Thanks again for watching and please remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about the thyroid. Now the thyroid is a gland that sits in your neck and is basically the controller gland for a lot of the other hormonal systems that uh, exist in the body. And if we look at all the hormones that run around the body, things like testosterone, things like progesterone, estrogen, uh, cortisol, uh, etc., uh, they, they're all doing their thing and the thyroid is like the uh, controller or the conductor of that hormonal symphony, if you will. Um, and there are issues, people can have issues with their thyroid gland and sometimes they can be very overt uh, thyroid dysfunction or they can be sort of what we call subclinical thyroid dysfunction as well and that can happen as a normal part of aging. So with the thyroid gland there's two things that can happen with it. It can either be overactive or it can be underactive. So it can be hyperthyroid or hypothyroid. Now interestingly enough both those conditions, hyper and hypothyroid, can result in hair loss. So it's, it's important if you are experiencing hair loss to make sure that your thyroid levels are checked and that your thyroid function is optimized. Sometimes people need a little bit of supplemental uh, thyroid uh, stimulation. They may need iodine uh, because some people are deficient in iodine that helps uh, boost the, the thyroid gland. On the other end of the spectrum, if you are uh, hyperthyroid, where you may need something, medication to try and calm that thyroid uh, gland down. But in essence, you can, at both ends of the spectrum, have hair loss. The hair becomes thin, becomes more brittle, and it can fall down. Also, another particular sign of an underactive thyroid is actually thinning of the eyebrows. And so there's a particular sign where you lose that sort of last third, we call the lateral third uh, of the eyebrow. It's, it doesn't, you don't necessarily have to have no hair in that area. It can be thinner in the lateral third of the, uh, of the eyebrow. And that is also a sign of uh, some thyroid dysfunction. So it's important to uh, get that checked. So, um, you know, wh wh what do we do? How do we, how do we manage that? Well, it's different because we need to make sure that if you've got an underlying thyroid issue, that that is corrected. Now, uh, hair loss in thyroid dysfunction presents differently to the common garden variety uh, androgenic alopecia, be it male pattern hair loss or female pattern hair loss. Male pattern hair loss uh, as its name would suggest, is hair loss in a particular pattern, and the same with female pattern hair loss, whereas thyroid dysfunction will cause generalized thinning uh, of the hair, both at the top of the scalp and also at the back. So it's important that you, if you are experiencing hair loss or hair thinning, make sure that you uh, get that checked uh, by someone who knows how to diagnose this. Maybe your GP can run a set of bloods to do your, uh, to check your uh, thyroid function, including a, a variety of other uh, nutrients as well, and make sure those are optimized. And uh, if that's the case, then you can have a good working thyroid because a good working thyroid, like I said, helps all the other hormonal systems in the body and helps control all of that. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode.